All right, I have this at least 10 year old Dell that's been sitting in the garage for at least eight years, maybe longer. And my girlfriend wants me to extract the photos off of the hard drive. I've never done it before. So I bought this and it's an R driver three USB two. And uh, apparently with this equipment here, I'm gonna be able to extract the uh, information off that hard drive. So if we open it up, let's see if we can open this thing up. And what do we have in here? We've got the power cable. Okay. And it's got this thing's got to be put into there. Something somewhere. I've never done it before, so we'll figure it out as we go. We got this thing. And then we got this thing here. Oh, there's a what is that? User's manual. We may need that. Alright. So over here, I figured out how to open this, and I gotta press this thing on the bottom, and this pulls pull right out open like that. All right. So I'm looking in here. I gotta find the hard drive, and I do believe that this is the hard drive here. So before I can pull it out, I've gotta unhook this thing here and this thing here. So now it's loose. So now I should be able just to grab it and pull it out. All right. Here we go. So. This is the hard drive out of this 10 year old Dell. And as you can see, it is a Seagate uh, 160 gigabyte drive. So this is, this is going back a little ways. So now we're gonna to try to get the information off this. I'm gonna put it down here. You can see I brought my ruler to measure it just in case, and this, I believe, is a about three and a half incher. So if I go to the front of the box, or the back of the box, it shows me how to hook it up. So this one is good for two and a half, or three and a half, or five and a half inch multifunction. So I've got a three and a half, so I'm gonna to go to this second thing, and it's pretty self-explanatory. looks like I gotta plug it into the computer with the USB port, slide that onto the on these little golden strips here, try to figure out which one goes where. If you look at them, you can see how it work, should work. And then I'm gonna put the, these connectors in there. All right, so first of all, before I put the power in there, I'm gonna find uh, my little deal here. So I'm gonna look at that right there. And you can see how that is. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to see which end goes into that. So if you look, you can see that that's got a little bit of a little, little indentation there. And if you notice over here, so that's how you got to plug that in there. Now I've plugged it in there. Okay, that looks good. And now if you look here, you'll see there's a little indentation at the top. And if you look there, You'll see right, right there is the other indentation. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to slide that baby right on there like that. If I can do it with one hand. And then you can see that it says ATA up. All right, so that's cool. So now we have our connection from the hard drive to the USB, which I'm going to plug in to the side port over here on my uh, Macintosh. All right, this is the power cable that I have to hook onto the hard drive. And so if you look inside there, you'll see those little, you'll see the little steel uh, or the uh, contacts where it goes. And as you can see, you can see the contact here. So I look at it and I can see I got to turn it this way. And I'm going to push it right on there. Now that's the power. Now you notice I haven't hooked the power up yet. So I'm take. I'm gonna first. I'm gonna make sure I got this all connected. And I'm gonna set this somewhere where I won't electrocute myself. So I'm just gonna set it right down here. All right. Let that lay off there. Over here is my. Over here is my connection that's gonna go into here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plug it in for right now. So now I've got the hard drive extracted from the old computer. I've hooked it up to all this stuff that I bought from Amazon.com for $9. I plugged it in here. And now I'm going to take this 
over here. I'm going to put, give it a little juice. Bam, done. Now, this should show up on my uh, Mac, hopefully. <laughs> As I said, this is the first time I've done it. I don't want to electrocute myself. Let me make sure that's on there. Yeah, that's probably going to kill me. I'm not careful. All right, now we're going to go over here. I'm going to open up my finder. So I'm going to come over here. Okay, to open up the finder. And if you look, you'll see it says untitled. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to open it up. And there it is. That's all the data that is on this hard drive. Now I can extract all that data and put it in a file on top of my Mac. So it took about 10, 10 minutes to do it. So very simple to do. Easy connection. Just a USB. I wouldn't plug it in there until you make sure everything's cool here. Congratulations. We just got all that data from a 10-year-old computer.